so uh, we are gonna perform this uh, pivot table here table so what will this pivot table will do uh, this pivot table will uh, you can say generate a matrix okay so that matrix will contain the user information or the uh, that means the user id okay suppose all the user id be, would be here suppose 254 uh, 255 okay like that so on and it will also contain the title uh, title of the uh, books okay like uh, mm, so, suppose let's uh, four blonde then harry potter okay so so it will contain uh, so it will uh, generate uh, kinds of you can say matrix or table like that okay uh, so if i draw that so like that now if i uh, you can say uh, perform this pivot table on top of this ratings okay because here i'll be using uh, this uh, you can say information about our user id okay and our books title and our rating information okay so if i perform that so what it will generate uh, first of all it will uh, you can say place all the you can see user id and it will place all the you can say name of the books okay now inside it will also place the ratings of the book okay suppose this is the user and this is the books and that books has got you can say nine number of ratings okay and this uh, this is the harry potter books and this is the uh, users okay and these users you can say uh, give uh, give this you can say uh, give gives this harry potter books okay uh, suppose uh, for for ratings okay like uh, he has or she has given four ratings uh, that's all like you can say there would be a lots of book okay there would, would be a lots of books and there would be a lots of you can say rating information uh, by these users okay and similar wise this is the user uh, another user and he will have the same you can say uh, some uh, similar kinds of you can say rating, rating information like uh, he or she will give uh, he or she may, might give suppose uh, this uh, to this four blondes suppose he has given three uh, ratings okay also like uh, it is like uh, he has given uh, let's say seven okay that's how there would be suppose rating suppose he has given 10 and he has given uh, you can say uh, three okay like that like uh, they have you can say given uh, they have given you can say uh, the rating you can say uh, they have given the ratings okay to these books so now i can you can say consider that matrix okay uh, to you can say figuring out the similar kinds of users okay suppose uh, this is this is a user and this is another user okay and here you can see this users has given uh, to these books nine and and to this harry potter books as four okay but these users you can say this uh, uh, you can say uh, to these books uh, you can say given three and uh, to this harry potter he has given just seven okay uh, but suppose there is a user uh, who has also given you can say suppose th this is a user user and uh, he has also given suppose almost you can say 8.5 and to this harry potter book he has also given suppose 3.5 okay now you can see this user and this user has similar kinds of interest okay similar interest similar interest you can say okay so we will you can say uh, uh, will you can say make a cluster of them okay so uh, suppose this is a cluster and we'll put this user here and this user here okay so now you can see this user has you can say uh, th this user have similar kinds of uh, interest okay similar kinds of interest now we can consider what are the books like he might like so she uh, she or he might also like that books okay so i'll recommend that uh, books also okay so like that i will do the you can say recommendation okay based on user choices okay so here you can see uh, here i have you can say lots of users you can see information lots of users information okay uh, uh, you can say users rating uh, and i'm considering those rating okay uh, for recommending uh, you can say uh, a new books okay to the another users okay uh, because uh, he or she might have the similar kinds of interest okay so this is the you can see workflow will be performing okay so at the end what i'm trying to do i will pass this matrix i will pass this, this matrix to my model to my clustering model you can say clustering model and this clustering model will identify okay so these are some you can say separate separate information and it will identify the similar kinds of you can say users okay so suppose uh, there are you can say two cluster so suppose these are some person 
uh, these are some person you can say similar kinds of person and these are some person okay these are some person so it will make a cluster of them and if a new user come here okay new user come here and and if he or she like shows any kinds of you can say uh, interest okay any kinds of interest so it will like verify with them okay and what are the similar kinds of you can say uh, uh, interest it will get so uh, it will automatically put this user in that group okay so that's how we'll be like you can say doing the analysis here so let's do that uh, so guys i think you got the idea uh, how we are gonna do that projects so now let's uh, you can say uh, create our private table so for that i will just uh, take a variable called booked uh, pivot and uh, let's call our final data set and there is a function called you can say pivot table here so if you call that and here i'm gonna pass our columns uh one is our user id because i have shown you then uh, our indexes index wise like i will send our books name that means our title and i will pass the value as my uh this ratings column okay here so this is the column I'll be passing now if I run that code okay I think this is values now you can see uh, this table has been generated so if I print that so you can see uh, this is our table okay so this uh, as a column it is containing the user you can say information that means user ID and as a rows it is like index it is uh, you can say containing the title of the books okay that means books name and these are some ratings okay like uh, this is the user uh, has given uh, nine uh, to these books okay as ratings and these are some nan values because uh, uh, these are zero okay it is considering as a nan because uh, this book has got zero ratings okay from this user so that's why so now uh, here i have to fix that because uh, nan we cannot like consider but first of all i want to show you the pivot uh private table shape so see uh now we have almost you can say 742 books 880 you can save uh, users information okay we have uh now let's uh, handle this nan value so for that i will just write book pivot dot fill in it and uh, here i will be filling with the zero and uh, let's make it permanent and now if i show you our book pivot so see uh, all the nan value has been replaced with the zero uh, now i will be uh, starting the training uh, but here uh, there would be a problem uh, because uh, so the problem is like if i pass this entire data set to my algorithm so it will uh, calculate all the value okay because if you see uh, zero okay zero is containing nothing okay and if it's if it is like trying to calculate the distance okay uh, from from you can say uh, from a column to another column so it will take a lots of time because at uh, then clustering algorithm what it does it is just try to calculate the distances okay but here you can say uh, if you subtract zero minus zero okay so you, you will get zero okay but uh, you are at then calculating this zero also okay but we are not but we don't want to calculate this zero because zero containings contains nothing okay so at the end like we have to just consider those value those have you can say some kinds of quantity so we have to consider that value so for that uh, there is a you can say uh, system called csr matrix okay so if we perform the csr matrix on top of that so you can say automatically uh, this uh, zero won't be considered uh, because uh, whenever it is cal it will calculate the distance okay uh, uh, you can say all, with respect to all the columns and all the you can say rows so it will uh, ignore that zero and it will consider those value uh, i mean uh, who has some kinds of quantity so i think you got the idea so for that i will be importing scipy so if you don't know scipy 
you, you can say is another library uh, like numpy so uh, in the scipy there is uh, you can say class called sparse and i'll be importing this uh, csr matrixes csr matrix and uh, i have to just pass it book dot sparse let's create a variable here and csr matrix and if i pass my book private here so if i print it here so you will not get anything instead this you can say objects it's an sparse matrix objects okay you'll be getting uh it's a compressed sparse row you can say matrix form uh now 